I'm coming. Yeah, okay. okay. Let, 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 would you want to finish with that? Yeah, let, you, let, 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 let my, my president. <laughs> I uh, see. So, <laughs> so before I get to the bench, let's do the petroleum, the petroleum product. Stuff. It you says see, affordable petroleum see, product. Affordable petroleum product. Mm -hmm. Strategically, BOST was set up. Mm -hmm. The reason for setting up BOST was just to store petroleum product mm -hmm. so that in case of shortage or demand or what price going up astronomically. Bust or feeders mm -hmm. with a stable price. Mm -hmm. The question is for some years now, Bust has been working as a trading company declaring dividends. Mm. So there raises the question that why do you have to pay the boss levy on the fuel price build up? It, to us, it must be scrapped. Sure. Mm -hmm. You know what, what you are going to be doing also for me is that you are yeah. going to we're going to be working through all those components on yeah. the price build up okay. to see. The areas, what, yes, areas we where we can do yes. away with and all that. So you can't. No continue. problem. So, so what, what the president said about mm -hmm. bringing in affordable products so that the BDCs will not import individually. Mm -hmm. Per our thinking, mm -hmm. I assume that they are now going to use BOST mm -hmm. to do the importation, so that the various BDCs will pick their product from BOST. Now, the moment BOST do the importation, it's going to be more of governmental. Business. business so it's going to be government to government not the bdc's against individual companies in the various countries i don't know if, if you get me so government of ghana would then use bust to deal with let's say any of the important countries mm -hmm. it's usually we used to import from russia but now it's difficult yeah, and, people are, people are bringing it. and we, we can look at maybe we are importing from let's say denmark from sweden from the americas I mean, all the Americans can look at them. So, government of Ghana through BOST will then negotiate the price with the government over there. Is that advantageous? To a large extent, yes, because then the government of Ghana stands as a guarantor to whatever we are importing. Mm -hmm. And you see, when you deal with government to government, diplomacy can come in. Mm -hmm. There's a high level of trust as to individual companies moving from Ghana to import. Mm -hmm. So if boss can do that strategically, then maybe we can leave out boss levy to be charged. Then they will take the product from bust. Mm -hmm. If that happens, then competition will drive the prices on the OMCs. I don't know if... if so if, now... I hope I'm not too technical. No, no, no. no you are yeah. Maybe to the... We would have to break it down for the viewers who are watching us. So the, the challenge now is that the BDCs go bring it. Yes. Sell it to the OMCs. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the OMCs decide. So the BDCs, as and when you go to maybe Sweden to pick it up, mm -hmm. when you come in, you decide how much to sell it to an OMC. Yes. yes. The OMC also, depending on how much he, he buys it from one BDC, one BDC. Yes. he also de determines how much it is. Yes. Other it's like yes. dollar. Yes. But, yeah, that's business. You know, that's, you know, that's, yeah. that's business. But boss is also in the middle to ensure that all of these, uh, the prices are regulated. Yes. But we're running a deregulation, uh, deregulated system. Even with the deregulation, NPA has a responsibility. There's, there's a marking they're not supposed to go beyond. Now, if you look at the prices on the market, mm -hmm. some of us can conveniently say that they're overpriced. Mm -hmm. They're overpriced between one city because, to about two cities. Okay, because I understand, I understand it's that goal is... Down, selling about 13, 13 and about the others are 17, 17, 17 so 16. which okay. market are the 17 people operating from okay what's the mpa doing about this mm -hmm. we believe mpa should crack the whip mm. you should allow them to operate your start money from Ghanaians. but they also say there are challenges and they have to and it, is gold not facing the same challenges yeah. it's, it's rhetorical though is right. gold not facing the same challenge you see, I see. so so <laughs> bringing in affordable product, mm -hmm. that is one aspect I think the government will, will be considering. They say I bring it affordable, they will use post to do the import, then okay. the BDC will take it from them. Mm -hmm. Another way is, I think it is time Ghana will look at the areas we do business. Today, we are having high cost of work because we primarily buy from the Europeans. And the Europeans are suffering because basically of the war, Russia and Ukraine. Mm -hmm. So now, we buy from third party instead of buying direct from source. I don't know if, if yeah. you get me. Now, the Americans have more purchasing power. Mm -hmm. So they buy from other Europeans. They will go and buy from the Americans. Mm -hmm. So assuming that we're buying direct from Europe at, let's say, $100 per barrel. 
because of the war, mm -hmm. the Americans are trying to ha I mean, have a lot of storage. Mm -hmm. So they are buying that at 120. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just an assumption. Mm -hmm. At 120 from the Europeans, before go there, man, my business, my businessman. If somebody is offering me a higher price, will you take? Will I take the lower price? No. No. So I will say to the higher bidder who is taking 120, and then me from Ghana, who is now going to buy at let's say hundred dollars? I can't buy from that European market now. I have to fall on the Americans. So if they say they are going to bring affordable product, some of us now we think they should fall on the Latin Americans, even China, because today. Some way, you know, there's that kind of political link between China and Russia, whether we like it or not, mm -hmm. it happens. So they get discounted fuel from Russia. Mm -hmm. So their price can even be lower. So we should change our perspective as to where we buy our product. Mm -hmm. We should look at other sources, China, the Latin Are you Americas. talking about to the BDCs or when Bosch takes over? What you Either the BDCs or even Bosch. Okay. We should look at our, our origin source. I see. Let's now look at the components on the... Yeah, you want to say something? Yeah, I want to add something. Or right. add something. <coughs> With all these things, buying it from A, buying it from B, what happens to ours? The tall. Not tall. Okay. We have tall. Mm -hmm. We have everything. What we are doing at Cape Three Point, mm -hmm. can't agreement change or can't we go on round table again and discuss, okay, now, fine, because of what is happening. Mm -hmm. When you take the oil first and foremost, you think about your country. Okay, now we've decided that now because of the hardship and the problem that we are facing, now we will be the first buyer. Aside our percentage, mm -hmm. we'll be the first buyer. The reason tour is being set up is all these things. So I think they will be the so before maybe you have hundred million uh what's the name? Or, uh, barrels. 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 You get it a day or whatever. Okay, fine. Ours is let's say ten percent out of the hundred. That's mm -hmm. ten million. Mm -hmm. Okay, because of the system, the way system is going. Now the, that ninety million want to be the first buyer, right? We sit on round table. We discuss if there's some if there's an agreement that have been signed already that is affecting we Ghanaians. We need to go back visit the agreement. Do some changes in it. Now here is the case. Okay, the ni that 90, okay, please, the 90 we've understood. Okay, now we will take, let's say, we'll go in for first 40. Mm -hmm. So now you can sell the 50. So at the end of the day, we'll get 50. So that tour will start working. But me sitting here, I see it to be like, yeah, Charlie, robbing Peter to pay Paul. Like the way the dollar is running. Mm -hmm. The dollar, somebody came, I interviewed those people that normally go, that we call them uh, those... Uh, Allergies. Mm -hmm. the, black the black market. The black market. The black market. This is some some of the dollars. Is the bank managers who give to us. But at the end, when we sell, they get profit. Mm. And at the end of the day, when you go to bank right now and you need a dollar, they will tell you that a whole week we've been authorized to give ten thousand dollars for a week, and you have a, a container too. Maybe I visited my president. It's a freight forwarder. My container has come. I need to take the container out from the port. Upon everything, I have to pay $25,000. And the bank is being authorized to give $10,000 a week. So when I go to you, when I come to you and tell you, give me $10,000 at that moment, you tell me that it's not there. So it's you who will direct me to go to Mr. A, Alaji B, Alaji C, to go and take. And when I go there and I say, Charlie, I need $50,000, just a whistle. Before you are Charlie, Papa, pa, pa, they will count and give it to and you. And it's from the same place that probably, it's probably you went to. Yeah. That's it. So it's a, you see, so it's the same thing happening to the fool. The same people in Heim of Affairs, the, politi the politicians, they will make sure they will bring it. Now between you and I, we are media men. You people, you have the just do underground. Go to the port. You see vessels being packed there with fool. Beth. Be the best. Yes, this is unpacked. Yeah, yeah, okay. the best. Yeah, yeah, the best. With four. Mm. At the end of the day, it belongs to individual. They are politicians. They are mounting up uh, what's the filling stations mm -hmm. because at the end they always when four shots always they will have four. Mm. So and they hold it. Sometimes. Yeah, they will hold it. So what? Where are we heading to? Government knows it. Right. Government knows it. The politicians are the people mocking the state. Uh -huh. And we need to tell them the truth and stop running about the bush.
Well, I mean, they, they, we all know the truth by now, though. Let's look at the components on the price build up. Okay, so, um, so, <clears throat> so as a measure to help reduce, I mean, fuel prices, mm -hmm. I wish we may have time we can look at other modes of transport. It seems we are focusing more on road because I think that is a major issue. Yes, that's the major, now. major one. Yes. But for the for the fuel prices, right. now, we think that... At the, the pumps? At the pumps, yes. Yeah. To reduce it, one, we think the toll recovery levy must be scrapped. Okay. That is Can one. you mention them, the components that you have them on the sheet? Yeah, no. The toll recovery levy, mm -hmm. energy sector levy, mm -hmm. price stabilization levy, mm -hmm. uh, bust margins. Mm -hmm. These are things we think they must go. All right. The, but there, there were some uh, reduction in the margins at some point. I have not noticed the margins. Right. Me, but there was. Yes. I don't know. Yes. Have they... I think the bust, no, the stabilization levy, I think the margins were dropped. Okay. Yes. Okay. But right. even the question is, that money, where is it? Mm. Because it's supposed to stabilize prices of petroleum products. Mm. So if indeed we are pumping in those monies, how are they stabilizing the price? Are they telling us that even with that money being pumped in, we are still having these prices? Mm. We don't think so. Mm. We think it should be checked. That's we true. think that Ghana now is a net exporter of crude. As a net exporter, what it means is if crude oil prices goes up, it benefits us. Mm -hmm. In the sense that if we budget our crude oil to be sold at $50 a barrel for the whole year, the $50 includes our profit. Mm -hmm. Now, if the, the price move from 50 to less than 100, the extra $50 is a windfall profit to us as a state. Mm -hmm. What do we do to that money? We think we need accountability and such money should be used to cushion fuel prices. Mm. What is not doing? The little percentage that we get from our Cape 3 point crude, we think it should be given to tour to refine. Mm. Because now we think tour virtually has become a storage facility mm. for importers of commodities. Mm -hmm. Why should tour set up to produce, to manufacture, now become a plant farm? Yeah. It shouldn't be so. How, do you know how the number of people we are still paying at tour though? The staffs are, they are, they are, I don't think they are less than 1,000. Wow. Yeah. Unless maybe some of them, they leave some of them off. Because I asked about 20, well, see, that was when run, I got the number. They run on shift. You know that. If it is working efficiently, it shouldn't be less than that. I see. 